Hello, welcome to IF, taking technology, history and mystery and asking what if. If you enjoy the content and would like to see more, please remember to hit that subscribe button, like and share. So let's get on with it. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Vatican files. Let's find out if the conspiracies are true. What do we actually know about this most mysterious place? The Vatican secret collection of documents known as Archivum Secretum Apostolicum Vaticanum Apologies for my bad Latin. These files contain chronicled records covering 12 centuries. They include many unique objects and letters, including writings of Michelangelo, archives identifying magical and mysterious objects, correspondence, and even a supplication composed on birch bark by the Canadian Ojibwe tribe in 1887. People have always speculated on what could actually be found in the 50 plus miles of racking in the Vatican secret hall of records. A very select group of researchers, scholars and writers have been permitted to enter these hallowed halls and view documents, the documents they viewed having to be requested before their visit. This leads us to a chicken and egg situation. If we don't know what is in the vault, how can we request it? This is why many believe that you must be part of a society that has and shares these secret forms of knowledge. So what do people think is hidden in this vast library of secrets? Well, firstly, the truth behind the life of Jesus Christ. Many claim the record halls contain correspondence between holy persons correspondence between the Apostle Paul and the Emperor Nero all relating to Jesus and his presence and with information on his family tree and lineage. Some scholars claim the Vatican might be concealing that Jesus did not exist. We took a look at this in another video, if Jesus was real. Secondly, alien contact and hard evidence for the proof of extraterrestrial life. Hidden confirmation of alien life and its presence on earth is said to be securely kept under lock and key in a vault, items such as extraterrestrial skulls, chronicles containing confirmation from the Pope that there are real aliens and they have a plan to tag and track everyone on this planet using the guise of religion to enact this plan. Knowledge on the date the world will end, we have also covered this in another video linked above. The archives are said to hold the three predictions of Fatima. These prophecies have been hidden since 1917, after the three Portuguese youngsters were given visions of the future after being visited by the Virgin Mary. Their predictions were given validity after Mary appeared to the whole village at a time and a place foretold by the children. They made three such predictions on what was to come, and of these three, two prophecies are said to have occurred with the third being kept locked away and held secret. Many theories have been suggested for the third prophecy, the collapse of the Catholic Church, an atomic holocaust, to a catastrophic series of events leading to the end of the world. Other types of secret information may be held, like pornography and evidence of sexual misconduct. The library is said to be home of the biggest accumulation of erotic entertainment in the world. This information is affirmed by Copenhagen's Historical Center for Erotica, where their guests are routinely told that the Vatican holds the biggest gathering of erotica on the planet. Researchers Camille Pagilia and author William F. Buckley Jr. have also supported this claim. They may also hold evidence and the records of sexual misconduct by priests. It is commonly known the church systematically hid this evidence of the misconduct to protect its priests. If these records were to see daylight, it could end the Catholic Church. And no conspiracy would be complete unless we have the Illuminati. Again, something covered in another video, see the link above. People claim that these records are controlled by the Illuminati. It is said that after the group's disbandment, the Illuminati actually hid itself, choosing the most noteworthy organizations on the planet as their hiding place. One of these places, Vatican City. Over the many years, high figures including the Pope are thought to be likely members of the Illuminati. And finally, the church's links to Nazis during World War II. Dave Kurtzer, a student of history, inspected reports from the rule of Pope Pius 
during 1922 and 1939. He reasoned that the Pope had made deals with Mussolini to secure the church and its place in society, in exchange for its silence on anti-Semitism. Others say the Pope worked against the Nazis and helped to hide Jews, saving them from Nazi hostility. So what is the truth? Could all of these ideas be true? Where is the information coming from? And what do we actually know? The truth behind these mysterious files may be far less exciting, starting with the name which is from a mistranslation of the Latin. The genuine name of the Vatican documents is Archivum Secretum Apostolicum Vaticanum. Secretum in Latin does not signify mystery as some may think. It more accurately translates to individual or private. The chronicles hidden are in reality collections of private letters and records kept by past popes over the hundreds of years of the church. The record halls were created by Pope Paul. The Pope had a notable collection of documents and items of significance and realized that such records ought to be saved. The 17th century was a time when the mindset was that of an average man need not know of the correspondence exchanged by their rulers and popes, so they were kept safely secured, secretly locked away in the archives. These secret letters and notes could be seen by those in power, but it was not until 1881 that Pope Leo enabled specialists to see certain documents. A methodology for those that could visit the archives was developed and this method has not changed for 200 years. Writers, undergraduates and non-historical specialists are not given access. A person who is an expert or an individual whom has demonstrated that he or she is sufficiently qualified and a genuine researcher may be allowed to enter to view the files. This researcher enters through the Porta Sant'Anna and are supervised by the Swiss Guard. However, before the researchers get this access, they must request the particular reports they wish to audit and they are only permitted to view three documents a day. If a researcher is blessed enough to gain access to the Vatican documents, he or she would be welcomed into a place where they could view a 197 foot long scroll containing the minutes of the trials of the Knights Templar, a letter from Michelangelo to Pope Julius. The 1521 ecclesiastical bull of Pope Leo suspending Martin Luther. Notes from the 1633 trial against Galileo. A letter to Pope Innocent from Grand Empress Dowega Helena Wang of China. And letters from both Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis requesting Pope Pius support for the Union and the Confederacy. In 2012, in celebration of the 400th anniversary of the archives, the church made 100 documents available to the public. These documents held for public display at an exhibit called Lux in Arcania. Many still campaign to this day for the church to allow access to the library, saying the knowledge is the property of all mankind, but the Catholic Church still refuses. Does this mean they are hiding something? I would love to know what you think. Please leave your comments below and if you enjoyed this video, don't be like the Vatican, share it with your friends. Maybe throw it a like or if you want to know more, give us a subscribe. Catch the latest content across all social media. Thanks for watching. Until next time.